today in my YouTube video, I'm going to explain how we take a rectangle um, and transform it into uh, this. But it's actually going to be a three flip Mobius strip, but a slightly larger rectangle with three flips. So it's going to be a, a loop with an inside surface and an outside surface. But we give it three flips. One, two, three. Um, pretty shape. Um, and here it is here. I've, I've colored it. Um, this uh, shape has one boundary surface. If you start here and travel around it, you end up back here. So it's got one boundary. It's also got one edge, which is drawn here. Um, in my first YouTube video, I was a little bit premature. I found, thought I found a pattern. I said that when you have a Mobius strip with three flips, when you cut it down the middle, um, you have eight twists in it, which is in the literature. But I found that it takes six um, plane intersections or lines, a line is an intersection of two planes, it takes six lines to flatten all the curves and then we have a number of zones left, that's seven. Um, the zones is always one less than the number of twists. And here we can see it here. This is a Mobius strip with three flips that's been flattened. There are one, two, three, four, five, six intersections. It's, it's flat, you can see. Whoa. And I've numbered all the intersections, one, two, through, uh, three, four, five, and six. Um, but I started testing this. Um, I found it correct up to Mobius with seven flips, but I went up to 13, and that's when the trouble happened. If you look at my results, a Mobius strip with 13 twists to start with, when cut down the middle, should has 28 um, twists in it. Um, it should have uh, 26 lines to flatten it and have 27 boundaries when drawn out. But my results, I did three or four solutions. It takes a long time to work these out. Um, uh, mine had 28 lines and 26 um, boundaries. Uh, here's the mess here. That was once my solution. You can see there's a, a few loops here still connected. We're going to put this in the bin because we've kind of started over. And what I wanted to understand is the mechanisms of flattening the twists. So we can see our Mobius strip um, with three flips. We have cut it down the middle. You can see where I start here. We end up with this mess. Um, we've gone from one boundary, one surface, to two surfaces. You can see there's a, a black surface and there's a white surface. Um, in the original strip, I colored it. You know, there's a yellow and there's the yellow. Um, so what happens when you add a new edge, um, you add a new boundary. So, we flattened that, um, that Mobius strip here. Here it is here. It's been flattened. Um, if we trace it out, we can count uh, the, ba uh, the zones that are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's in keeping with my results, like right here. Uh, three twists, eight twists in the resulting loop, uh, six lines, seven boundaries. Here are the, the intersections, which I've numbered. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And what I've done, I've numbered them on the Mobius strip. You can see, you can see six right here. If I get, give me six. And you can see number, number three right here on the side. To help put it back together, I've also colored the outside all yellow. So you can see it's all yellow on the outside, if you can see that. Um, and then there's... You can see on my little graph, my plane, uh, there's the six and the three. So when it's taken apart, you can see it right here. Um, it might look a little bit confusing, but it's not really that confusing. And what happens is a little pattern that emerges um, when you have, um, basically, if we go to the results, uh, there's symmetry. Um, for the first intersection, it's always the A, the cut starts at the A edge, to the B edge, but when it intersects, it starts with the B edge and goes to the A edge. But then if you look at um, intersection number six, which is right here, that's where it crosses itself. Um, it's, it's a little bit different. It, well, not really, but it's the B edge to the A edge, A edge to the B edge. And how do we get um, eight twists flattened with six lines? Well, it's really simple. When the line, when the strip crosses itself, that kills two twists at intersections number six and number three. Six and three. So we can count them. So it's really simple. It's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
If we go back to the same Mobius strip, which I haven't put together, you can see. Here's where the strip crosses itself, once and twice. We still have the knot right here. You can see that the pink surface is here, and the pink surface is here. So if we take away two, four, we know that this knot is actually four twists. So an overhand knot in a strip is nothing more than a strip that's gone through four twists. But if we look at the, the solution, here's the knot right here. Here's the um, one twist that's outside. Uh, uh, it's right here, it's outside of, uh, this one here is on the inside. That relates to zone number five, which is on the inside. Here we can see it right here. Um, and here's the knot actually. Here, here's where the knot was once. You can see the strip comes in this way, it goes around, and it comes out. That's the knot, it's been flattened. And what's interesting is that um, I'm wondering if there's not like a symmetry involved. And I've looked at the symmetries and I've worked them out. I started um, at the third intersection right here. You can see on my flattened Mobius strip, I go in this direction. So I travel along here from the third to the second knot. And here it is here. We go from three, we go around, we go to the second intersection. So I worked out all the intersections and it goes, you know, three A edge to B, three B edge to A, two B edge to A edge, one A edge to B. Here's one, that's A edge to B edge. And then we kind of like worked out, there was, there's a little bit of a symmetry going on here. We can see that all the intersections have been framed from the, the, the third intersection to the sixth intersection. And we've got the four intersections in the middle. Well, I've cut them down the middle and I've worked out where on the Mobius strip does the, the, does the fourth intersection fall leading towards um, intersection number one, which is uh, right here actually. I've added a string. So mathematically, um, this, the middle of the strip is right here. Well, I got curious as to how um, physically sy symmetrical this, um, this result is, and I've put a, put a black string onto the intersection. I've lift, we can lift it up and see what happens. It's almost symmetrical. Where is the center of gravity of this movie strip? There's, there's very little tape on this. There's no tape to account for, for extra weight, but if we pick it up here, this is this white string is one centimeter away from the from the the junction, the fourth junction. Let's pick it up by the white string. Well, it's just about balancing perfectly. Now, this solution um, just came very quickly, and and it's it's. I think that there's a connection between um, the the symmetry that I found with the intersections and the weight and the balancing point of the Mobius strip. Um, unfortunately, the paper models don't apply very well to the linear algebra, which I'm still working on trying to figure out. But I went back to my little pile of junk. Here's all my other Mobius strips, and I found this little jewel. This, again, is a Mobius strip that had three twists. Um, you know, it's got, it's the same thing, basically. You can see the intersections that are here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and you can see, here's the double intersection on the outside, and here's the other double intersection on the inside. It's a slightly different solution, but when I look at the symmetry of this one, we can see that there's a pattern emerging again. Here's the, the first um, intersection, here's the sixth, and here's the fourth. And there's a nice symmetry. There's junctions two and three and five and six that are framed by the, the, the junctions that, that kill that kill the double twists. Um, so obviously at every level in, in the, the Mobius strips, there's a definitive number of solutions at each level, at, at levels one, three, and five. But I guess as you get further down the list, the solutions become more numerous and it's hard to find the ideal, the ideal solution, which might still yield results that are consistent with the pattern, which, which I find um, that's turned up. Um, nice example of symmetry in Mobius strips. Maybe this is a, a Mobius transformation, taking a three-dimensional shape and mapping it onto a plane. Um, I hope that I make progress with the mathematics of this, and it's a beautiful paper example of symmetry and Mobius transformations of Mobius strips. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Um, I'm going to get back to work on understanding this strange thing that we call topology. Bye-bye.